Most of a tapeworm's body consists of a series of segments known as proglottids. There are not many systems present in the tapeworm's body given the simplified body structure of this parasite. For example, the digestive system has all but deteriorated given that the tapeworm absorbs the nutrients from its host digestive tract through its skin. There are nerve cords which pass from the cerebral ganglion near the scolex throughout the body, but many of these nerves will degenerate as the proglottids mature. Excretory tubules pass through the proglottids as well. Most of the proglottids, especially as they mature, are dedicated to the reproductive system. Each proglottid is a complete hermaphroditic unit, although most tapeworms are self-sterile. There are testes, which are connected to a variety of sperm ducts, which can transport sperm out through a genital pore. Sperm from a different individual can enter the vagina and then fuse with the eggs which are produced in ovaries. The uterus will store the embryos, and as the proglottids near the point where they will be released from the body, these embryos are mature enough to either break through the proglottid wall or to hatch from the proglottid which has been released in feces.